it is entirely possible that you're locked out of your phone. And there could be various reasons for it. You know, you're just unable to bypass the lock screen. For example, you don't remember the pin that you had set up or that you've forgotten the uh, pattern or someone else set it up for you and now you just can't bypass it. And naturally, you go on the internet and you start Googling how to bypass that. Well, to save you all the trouble, just go to this website and I'm going to leave the link in the description below. But Dr. Phone from Wondershare, it's basically that toolkit that would tell you how to go about bypassing the security lock screen on your phone. In some cases, it can do so without any data loss and there are some phones that are supported. To get started, just make sure you have a Windows machine and that you connect your phone using the USB cable. Obviously, then you'll need the software from the Dr. Phone website. Again, the link will be in the description below. Once you run the software, there's an unlock option that you choose, and then you're going to be facing three options. Of course, I'm going to go with the Android lock screen, and then I'm going to choose Samsung Android. Now, the only reason it is showing up is because I connected my phone using the USB cable. Now, if you don't find your device in any of these drop downs, which is fine, you can just choose, I can't find my device uh, from the list above. And once you do that, you could just go ahead and press next. Assuming your phone is still connected, which it should be. And of course it should be in turned on mode, whether it's still locked is, is all right. And you will see that the software starts running a few processes to uh, identify your phone, match it, verify the package file that is required, if at all, to be able to unlock it. Now, depending upon the phone and the make, the software will then decide whether there would be a requirement of resetting and erasing all information, or if you can just unlock the phone without doing that. So as I said, there are some devices that are supported uh, for that, but if it's not supported, you're gonna have to erase it. But at least the software will tell you and guide you through that process, and you will save all the trouble that you might have to face otherwise. And for the phone that I have, I'm gonna to have to erase all data to bypass the lock screen. And I may be asked for some Google account information. Now here's the instructions that I need to follow. And your phone may or may not have a physical home button. So you can choose and then go with instructions accordingly. So for me, it seems like I'm gonna to have to hard reset my phone uh, using the power button and the volume down button. And it's called a forced reset because you know when your phone's locked, and if you try to restart using you know, the regular process or power it off, it won't let you do that because it's gonna ask you for that password. So what I do is, as the software suggests, press the power button and the volume down button. And as soon as the screen goes dark, I'll just switch my finger from the volume down button to the volume up button. There you go. And once I do that, it's gonna bring me to this, uh, I'm gonna see the Samsung logo. And once it happens, I could just let the keys go and I would get into the recovery mode options just like that. And the next set of instructions would come once you press next. It tells you your next moves. So you basically have to go and factory reset or wipe all data. And it's giving you the entire sequence. And this is something that the software has inherently provided as information. Otherwise on Google, you're gonna have to spend a lot of time doing that. So pick up your phone again, use the volume rocker to go up and down, and then stop at wipe data and factory reset, and then press the power button to select. And then, yeah, it's just giving you some disclaimers. Go ahead, select yes, and then that's it. It's gonna run a couple of processes real quick, and it'll just format the entire hard disk. So all your data would be lost in this case. And then it says reboot system now, and your phone just, it should at least, turn on without asking for any password, but it would just behave as an entirely new phone. So yeah, I'm just gonna skip to it and there you go. So it's just pretty much how I had purchased this entire thing. All right, now there is a Black Friday deal that's running on to this software from Wondershare, which is Dr. Phone. So, you know, it's 40% off across all products. So the link is going to be in the description go ahead and check it out for yourself. There's also an offer running, which is, you know, you could get your order for free. Uh, there's a lot of information on the website regarding that. So just go ahead and see if you wanna participate and you can get that deal. And 40% off is across all their products. So if you're running into any kind of issue and you see a solution for it over here, now would be a good time to buy it. So thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.